to now, there's virtually no network programming in Blender or its add-on scripts. Why is that? Well, the problem is that Python scripts are meant to run in small chunks. If scripts run too long, the interface blocks. Threading in Blender Python does not work reliably. It turns out this problem has been solved by the Python community fairly recently. The solution is the new async.io framework which is already included in the standard library and recent Blender builds. I wrote a simple compatibility layer to use async.io inside Blender. And this is a simple demonstration of this library. It's a blend file opened in Blender and using the 3D viewport. The script will change the text inside the text boxes. First, if I press space, we will see a simple countdown to demonstrate timeouts. As you can see, Blender stays fluid all the time. Second is the feed reader demo. This will download headlines from Blender Nation. Again, no blocking. This can be also be done without async.io as long as the server is fast and reliable. Third is a web server demo. I can bring up a browser tab, type in the URL and get this simple form page. And whenever I change the text in the box and submit it, the text inside Blender changes too. Again, the animation is still smooth. Let's look at the script. Prompt and text are just two helper functions to abbreviate text object manipulation. First, we need to hide some objects for later parts of the demo. A listener is created which can be used to wait for a certain key, in this case, space. Title and prompt are changed. The yield from instructions are where the magic is happening. These are used to call other coroutines. Listener.wait waits for the space key. This coroutine's execution is only resumed after the space key has been pressed. The animation is started and title and prompt are changed again. Coroutines in async.io almost look like normal synchronous control flow. This loop for example runs from 9 to 0, waiting for one second to pass at each iteration. Implementing the same thing with callbacks or operators is a lot messier. The last two lines call the other two demonstrations, which I won't cover in detail now. So, to summarize, Async.io achieves multi-threading in Python without Python threads. Async.io is in the standard library and many common network protocols have been implemented on top of it. Coroutines simplify mixing user and network events. HTTP client-server in Blender is now easy as pi. What is all this useful for? Examples include better integration into render farms, integration of Blender into web applications, for example for product configuration, controlling Blender through desktop mobile web applications, or any other UI framework for that matter. Integration of distributed pipeline or asset management systems, content creation based on public APIs. I hope you liked this presentation and feel free to discuss this project in the Blender Artists Forum.